hello everybody and welcome back to my channel today's gonna be a fun video we're gonna be doing a get it all done and doing some of the fall things that um, we have going around at my house I'm in a very fall cozy outfit I love this little Amazon sweater but um, today we're gonna do a uh, clothing haul i got in a few more pieces from amazon that are so cute so fall they actually are even really good to trend transition into winter um i will have show you guys those so i'm super excited for that we are hosting like a halloween get together so i want to show you guys and kind of talk to you about all the plans that i have for that as well we're gonna little do a little bit of tidying around here but i hope you guys enjoy this video and you work with me and let's check off some things on our to-do list fall style hope you so guys here is outfit number one i got this dressed in from amazon it's super cute ruched on the top um i just have it styled with a hat some little booties i'd probably grab like a jean jacket to put over it but i love the fluttery sleeves it's this like burnt orange color and i think this is a really cute perfect um pumpkin patch outfit let me go grab a jean jacket so i would probably wear it something like this and i think it is cute and perfect for the pumpkin patch and this dress is under i think it's 30 something dollars but i'll have everything linked down below here is the next dress, another Amazon find. It has long sleeve. It has, it's like, I don't even know what you would call this, crinkled all through it. Um, my favorite part is it has pockets. It's loose fit. I love the collar. I just have it paired with some uh, booties from Target. I'll have these linked down below, super affordable, like $39. Um, and yeah, it's really cute in a little headband from Amazon, but nice, cute, and relaxed. This could even transition into Christmas. I would probably pair it then with some tights, um, like a light colored tight, and some little boots, maybe higher boots for Christmas time, but a cute, fun, cozy dress. And this would be good for Thanksgiving, any of the holidays, lots of room, and if you were expecting or pregnant it'd be good too it would grow with you but a very cute nice comfy dress and i like how it dips down a little bit in the back this is a great one and here we have our last and final this sweater i love it so much i have it i did the tuck bra trick but it is from target it is so cute um 25 dollars i have it tucked under but it's not that long anyways I just tucked it up just looks a little bit cuter um, I got it in the size extra small I love this can perfectly transition as well into the winter time I would definitely do it on do it with some tights I'm pointing to my drawer because the tights are over there and then some higher boots but I love it I love this gingham skirt this skirt I actually picked it up from Marshall's I want to say I got it for like it was really in a um, inexpensive under ten dollars I want to say for the skirt but the sweater love it starve the shirts or jeans but I just have it paired with those same booties from Target and then my little hat but I like absolutely love this look date night a little fall date night with your hubby or having drinks with the girls any of that it's so cute so adorable and then skirts like these I just always put like boy biker shorts underneath the shorter ones so if we have any blow up moments they just see my shorts but love this super cute I just love it Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door You don't have to wake up yet We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix marathon Saxophone, we'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put you 
your favorite music gone all the way baritone. This was all that was in there. I do laundry on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and every Sunday. So three days a week, and it keeps the clothes pretty much at bay. So I'm gonna put all of this stuff away, put Brooklyn's laundry basket back up in her room, and then we will go on to doing um, kind of my Halloween prep for my, the party. I'll talk over everything that I'm planning to do with you guys. So kind of Halloween planning. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. Show you guys really quick because I don't think I have Brookie's Halloween costume. She's gonna be a mermaid. Last year she was Ariel, but she said this is a different mermaid. It's a rainbow mermaid, so it's very cute. It comes with a little headdress, so that's gonna be her Halloween costume this year. Um, every year I always reuse her um, trick-or-treat bag, so it's this little witch. I can't even remember where I got it from. She picked these little glow-up sticks. They're from Walmart. Um, that one to have on Halloween. And then last year I picked this up from CVS. So we still have that. It lights up. This was one I don't think we used. But it lights up. It has like different modes. I think I had one extra. but So she has that one too. Because we have a few trick or treat type things. We have like a trunk or treat. Regular trick or treat that we're going to be doing. So she has options. But the witch we use every year. And then this one we've kind of held on to. So we shall see. Alright guys. I'm sitting in front of our fireplace. But for Halloween we're doing a little like get together so I wanted to show you guys everything that we picked up from that I feel like this video is pretty much a haul, just a haul of just a bunch of stuff so um, we are going to be carving our pumpkins or decorating our pumpkins we've painted them for the last few years it's my favorite thing to do they don't rot as bad but we picked up this kit uh, this is from Aldi they were like less than three dollars and then this one from Aldi, less than $3 as well. Um, for Brooklyn's trick-or-treat thing at school, not trick-or-treat, but Halloween, we picked up these bags from Walmart. And then this little set from Walmart as well. And with this, I'm also going to pick up some like candy that's nut-free and all that good stuff. So... These little things, Walmart's so inexpensive. These bags were only like 98 cents. And then these are, this whole kit was $5.24 and it came with 50 things in it. Okay, so for our little Halloween get together, I wanted some fun things for the kids to do. I think I'm gonna have them decorate pumpkins as well. I'm gonna pick up a few pumpkins from Aldi. I'll set up a table outside. I still need to have a table, buy a tablecloth. But um, I picked up this game from Walmart. It's a little beanbag toss game. I thought that was fun. Super cute. I picked up this game from Walmart as well. This was only $2.50 and the same for this one. 
and um, it is like a little bowling game. It comes with two balls and the bowling pins are candy corn. So I thought that was good, $2.50. And then I pulled out some of our stuff that we already have. I'm gonna put out Brooklyn's Jumpy, like I said, and then I will have a table covered for the kids with small pumpkins on there so they can like decorate. I'll have stuff for them to decorate them with. Um, but in our stash, I pulled out our Halloween wine glasses. I'm going to be using these. I think I'm going to make a spooky, um, like, sangria or a margarita. I haven't decided yet, but I wanted to put, um, like, a chamoyne on the top, like, dripping down. I thought that would be spooky. Um, but I'm going to make that, and I have, like, a huge jug. Um but I have these wine glasses. I picked them up last year from my local grocery store, but I saw Walmart had a ton. And they're all different. And you can see, I just store my stuff like this. And then that one is says, just here for the candy. And then Walmarts, I think, were a dollar. These, I'm pretty sure I got in a pack. This one says, eat, drink, and be merry. So I have those, wine glasses, couple sets of those. Um, I pulled out my Halloween tray. Like, I'll have a bunch of candy and stuff in here. And we'll also use this. We've used this the past few years for trick-or-treaters. I have my yard sign. I bought this last year. Um, that's how it looks right here and it's super cute it comes with everything that you need and I will be putting this out on our new yard here in Texas this year we never used this one from last year but I pulled out our little um, kit this one is from Target And then just for decorating, I have tons of like webs and spiders to make things look creepy. Um, these are from the grocery store. They always have like major discounts. So I have the ghost one. Same thing with little ghost plates. And then my big chunk of plates, I always get these either from the dollar store because they have like black and white. Um, these ones are from like Smart and Final. For my spooky margarita or sangria, whatever I wind up making, I have these so that I will probably fill them with like grenadine. If I make a white or a light colored margarita. I'll fill these with like grenadine and then they can shoot them into their drink. So I have those, I have those from last year. And then just some cool eyeballs to have float inside of my, my little jar. So I think I have another eyeball somewhere. But that is it guys um that's kind of all the stuff that i've gathered um i still need to get a tablecloth and then food for the kids we're gonna do like the mummy raw the hot dogs that look like they're mummy wrapped we'll do that we're just gonna be barbecuing out so it'll be nice and cute we're making cupcakes actually let me show you those kits so i also picked up this and we're gonna make these and then I'm gonna buy, this is from Aldi, and Aldi has their houses. I'm gonna buy a few of those for the kids to decorate as well. So it should be a fun, good time um, with drinks and food and good company. That is it for our little Halloween, all the things that we're bringing. I am going to make a cozy recipe for you guys, and I will include that footage right now. Uh, so guys, we're gonna do this Tiffany Beeston easy, quick um, soup recipe. I have the crock pot out, and let's get started. I already opened the tomatoes. This is the brand she suggested. I will have the recipe link down below, and then I think a black beans that I need to drain. And then corn, I'm opening the corn right now. I think
think on Fridays I want to do um, like, oops, I never know that I go all the way around. I think on Fridays I want to do recipes that require, see I didn't even go all the way around, that's all right. I want to do like crock pot recipes, like super easy ones for my family. Also cream cheese, I have a stick of that and let me get all of the spices. And then we are ready to go, guys. Threw and picked, made sure I had the spices when I was, I think that's all I need. So chili, ground cumin, and onion powder. I tried to make sure I had them when, before I went to the grocery store to pick up some of the other stuff. So those are there. So I'm going to speed this up, take you guys over to the, we have the Ninja and the crock pot lid comes with it so it's actually my first time using this as a crock pot we had a different one but we tried to declutter before we moved and we gave it away and then the chicken is right here so let's get started look out here she comes the woman that i love It's too bad you'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing How I feel for her she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I'll have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's given me these feelings that I've never felt before, but she will never know. And that is it, guys. My camera lens is fogging up. But yes, our um, chicken, um, white chicken chili is all done. I did break up the chicken with a little fork, and yes, four hours later. You can also cook it on eight hours on a lower temp, but I did the four hours on the high for the slow cooker, but. <laughs> 